チェンジアーストゥービーナス Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Works channel. Today, we're going to be building the Core Gundam G3 color and the V2 unit. So, a lot of people don't like this color because they prefer the original Core Gundam color. I get it.、Uh, I'm not really a fan of this color as well. But I think that Bandai actually does something that I really hate. I know it's a selling strategy, but I just really hate that. They, they separated the three Core Gundams. Into different colors. That's fine,、uh, which means we can choose the color. But they actually did a very, very bad move by fixing the armor pieces onto each core Gundam. So, which means if you, for example, if you don't like the Earth 3、uh, Gundam armor, so you like the V2, then you need to buy this color, which is very bad. And then You, that, that's the only way you can get the armors, which, is, which I think that is a horrible move for like,、uh, free, to, free to play players like me, free to play builders, because you know, we really don't like to you know, buy three separate gunplus. But anyway, that's another point. And the second thing that I really want to complain is that they sold the weapons separately, which is personally, I think that's just such a bad move right there because I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't get it. There's no point to sell it separately. So,、uh, okay, that's another topic. And then this thing, and then this gun right here is one part that I don't really like about the V2 unit specifically because this V2 unit h a v e a very long rifle. It requires you to have the Earth 3 Gundam's core beam spray gun so you can match the color. Otherwise, this kit will just give you a gray one, which, is, which doesn't really fit the rifle's color and it looks pretty ridiculous, I think. I will, I will check when I went to the review. But other than that, I, there's a lot of complaints about this Gunpla right here because you really need to buy a Earth 3 Gundam to get, the core, to get the rival colors correct. And then you're gonna need to buy a separate weapon set, which is,、uh, which is I think, that,、mm, such a bad move. But anyway, let's not talk too much. So let's look at the side right here. And then on the side,、uh, some introduction as well. So now let's get to unboxing. Now, first,、uh, I have two instruction menu in there because I store the V2 weapons inside the box as well. And now we're gonna look at the V2 unit right here. So, something that is very misleading because that、uh, this is a G3 color, and then you're giving me a normal color version of the V2 Gundam, which is okay. So, basically, it's pretty much the same structure as the Earth 3 Gundam that we reviewed last week, I think. That's basically the same structure. And now we are quickly taking a look at this. So they just put,、uh, so it's just runners that recolor. So now take a look at this. Done. Now open up the free to menu right here. So we can see that there's a lot of ways to, you can combine this backpack with other MS and then. Here, I show you how to attach on the V2 Gundam. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now, we're gonna start looking at the runners first. A runner, so just exactly the same like the Earth 3 Gundam, except the color is just a bit different. So, this time, what we are looking at is the basically is like exactly the same. So, I will just briefly go about parts like This is the torso, this is the waist part, torso parts, and then we have the arms right here, shoulders. We have the waist part right here, waist part right here,、uh, actually the torso part for these two. We have the legs part right here, and then we have the side of the legs as well. This will be the part of the torso as well. This will be the antenna. B1 and B2, which is basically the same, so I will choose B1 to explain. B1, as we can see right here, is just some hands part, shoulders part. Head part shield and then some arms part antenna and the head part for the core Gundam only. We have the beam saber right here. They're very, they're very green. It sort of really looks like the villain of the double、uh, X and the Gundam X, I think. And I personally, I don't really like this color. We have the poly caps right here. It's exactly the same as the ones on the Earth 3 Gundam. D runner, exactly the same like the Earth 3 Gundam, except this time the feet structure is a little different. So, 
Other than that, most of the part remain the same. Here's the body of the planet system, and then here's the uh, display base for you. And then this will be some joints inside the legs. The C part right here, they remain the same. It's just the color turning to gray. We can see that the rival is right here, but you will, you will get what I mean later. And then most of the part remains to be the joint of the MS, so there's not much special about it. We have the stickers right here. I, um, this time they added one more piece of sticker. I think this is for this uh, number six right here is for the, for the antenna after the transformation. Other than that, all the stickers is remain the same. New runners, this is what I'm meaning about because uh, as I told you before, at the C runner, the rival is gray. And then for some reason, this these two weapons right here, they are molded in the color of the Earth Free Gundam's rival color. So that means is if you are someone that who is too lazy to paint it, you actually have to use the Earth Free Gundam uh, Course Beam Spray Gun and then attach these part on it, which I think that Bandai, come on, don't be that lazy. Then lastly, we have the one and only sticker for the cameras on the cannon that's basically it now we're gonna see you at the review hey guys welcome back to the review of the v2 gundam so this is the core gundam form of the v2 gundam yeah it looks like a baby gundam as i mentioned last video this time the core gundam color switched to a g3 gundam color i don't know did you guys like this or not uh personally i uh i prefer the original color this color mm, it just I'm not really getting used to this. So, you know, because it's the core Gundam. So basically everything that I need to say about this baby Gundam right here, I already mentioned it the last video. So I'm not even bothered to repeat it again. So I'm going to go through the articulation very briefly again. But before we move on to the planet system, I want to say some uh, accessory again, because the accessory is exactly the same like the Earth Free Gundam last time. So first we have the long blade and the short blade. And then we have the shield right here. The, by the way, the shield this time is actually not useful on this unit. For this unit, you don't need to use the shield. So the shield is it's just basically an additional accessory for you to when you're posing with the core Gundam. And then we have the core beam spray gun. And then we have this additional uh, piece right here for you to put on other gun plus. Like if you don't want to put it on to the V2 Gundam, you can put it on to uh, other Gundams by using this joint right here. I mean this piece right here. And that's basically the accessory. This time the core Gundam is just switches color because it's using the same mode. So what you saw last video for the articulation, you will see it this time as well. So there's not really much point for me to go detail again because it's really repetitive. So I'll just briefly show you the hand can move around like this, uh, arms lift up, and then you know move around, moving front and back, and then uh, bending and then we have uh, the arms able to s spin around and then we have the torso joint right here it's not bendable it's just you can move 360 very freely this front skirt right here can move a bit and then you know kicking to the front kicking to the back and then you know bending bending and then with the additional bending on the feet for you to do the transformation later and then kicking to the side as well the articulation is not really anything special. It's just exactly the same like the uh, core Gundam that we have last time for the Earth 3 unit. And then, you know, this feet right here still contain the same thing that there's a ball joint right here for you to move side to side as well. And that's basically for the articulation. Planet system. So this is the planet system right here. As you can see right here, the color scheme is different. And then this time we have some small part tweaks about the armor itself. And then we have the weapon at the top right here. So right now, what I'm showing you right now is when the weapon equipped, as I said at the beginning, the weapon need to be by, uh, you need to purchase it separately, which is something that I really don't like. And then, well, but looking at the finish right here, I think that this planet system right here is actually looking pretty good. Uh, I pretty like this one, but you know, it's not much to go through about that because you know, the main point is not on this little core fighter right here. The main point is how do you put everything back to the core Gundam again. So now let's not talk too much. Let's show you the process. Now, I just want to show you like all these kind of V2 weapons that's sold separately. So first, I took out two rival. This one I borrowed from the Earth Free Gundam that I reviewed last time. And this one is from the kit itself. So first, 
uh, if we put on to with the uh, G3 color rival right here, it actually looks a bit unique uh, because the weapon itself is pretty boring because they're all the same color. They don't have much like very surprising things or anything like that. Having a little bit of color difference at the middle actually makes it uh, not that boring as well. But if we put it back the original color version, so right now what you're seeing, I use the Earth Free Gundam Core Beam Spray Gun. And then when you look at this, um, it looks kind of good as well because all the colors is matching, but it kind of... It, as I said, with a little color difference is actually making the whole rival looks a different. Now it looks all the same and it actually looks pretty boring. Although it looks comfortable, but it looks pretty boring. Now we're going to look at this backpack unit right here. So this is the V2 units uh, backpack. Now we have we can see that at the left side right here, we have the missile ball. At the right side here, we have this long cannon right here. Uh, I actually have something I want to say about this backpack right here. I personally, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. I think it's too boring. There's not much colors on it. And it's, uh, I, for some reason, I just don't really like it. I'm not a fan of it because I prefer this more color on it. Like for example, the missile pods right here should be more color. This cannon right here, I think they can do more colors right here, but it's an XG. We cannot really complain. So if you're someone who have a very creative brain, you know, you can recolor this thing and then turn it into a way better backpack. Let's be honest for a moment, the transformation process is actually not much different than what you got last time. What I did on the Earth Free Gundam, basically just doing a pretty similar drill. So first we're starting with the waist part right here. So flip up, we can see this little spot right here. What you have to do is just plug in the, plug in the front skirt. We're gonna flip it to the back and then, you know, connect this back skirt back to the Gundam itself. So it's pretty simple find a joint, snap it in, and done. Next, we're gonna need to do something towards the legs. So what we have to do right now is just flip the feet and then make sure you have this little spot right here open for you to put in the legs right here. So now we, let's just plug in the legs. So the lower body part is finished transforming. Let's do the upper body part. The rest of the parts is actually basically pretty much the same. So, you know, equipping the antenna onto the head. Now we're going to need to snap in the, the torso parts in. But for the arms, we just need to plug into this hole right here. So now it's a pretty simple thing. Slide in the shoulder just like last time. Lastly, we turn it to the back and then we shove in this backpack. So there you have it. This is the finishing of it. The cannons are pretty long, so I can't really fit into the flame. But uh, this time, after you put on the armor, I think the G3 color is looking pretty nice. If you just display it as a core Gundam form, I think the G3 color, I don't really like it. But it, once you combine all the armor, I think somehow it looks pretty good. But the only part that I really don't like about this unit is the feet design right here. The feet design right here, uh, I think it looks very uncomfortable for me. It looks very uncomfortable. Oh wait, I completely forgot about one part. The legs here have a, a hidden part right here that you can open. I don't know what this part is for. Uh, if you watch the build divers and then can you please tell me what this part for? Because I honestly don't know what this part is for. But this part, you can open it. So that's just, a, that's just a thing that I forgot to say. Hey guys, so this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And now I put the Earth Ray Gundam and the V2 Gundam together to let you guys have a very good look about the two Gundams. So personally, if you're asking for colors, I think I prefer the Earth Ray Gundam. But if you're saying the uniqueness, I think that V2 Gundam really deserve have some uniqueness in there. Um, so right now I'm just putting it side to side and then, you know, letting you have a look on two Gundams. If you think the Earth Free Gundam looks better, tell me in the comments. If you think the V2 Gundam looks better, tell me in the comments too. So this is basically the end of the review. Thank you guys for watching and uh, leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out anything. And I will see you guys in the next Gunpla review. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.